So, yes? So negative one third and negative one half. It's negative one half. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't cover it down. OK, so on this problem, bless you, what I'm asking you guys to do is to go ahead and solve this just like we would before. All right. But now I'm asking you to find all the solutions between 0 and 2 pi. Remember I told you guys, some of these problems I'll ask you to do all solutions like last example. Some of them I might ask you to do just the solutions between 0 and 2 pi. So we have to be able to make sure we can know the difference. All right, JJ? I thought you dropped it down in your backpack. Now you're, now you're deceiving me, or at least trying to deceive me. So anyways, we have cosine of 3x equals negative 1 half. We go over to our backpack, our uh, backpack, and we go to our unit circle and say, all right, when does cosine equal negative 1 half? All right, and you can see that, well, we know cosine equals 1 half. Add again my lovely angle at pi over 3. But that's when it equals positive 1 half. Right? So we just want to know when it equals negative 1 half. Well, if we reflect that over the y-axis, we know it's that angle, which is 2 pi over 3. And if we reflect that back in and over, because remember, for cosine for a cosine to be negative, it has to be in the second and the third quadrant. And then at this angle, which is 4 pi over 3. So therefore, you can say cosine of Um, cosine of 3x, or sorry, just 3x, 3x is equal to 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. Oh, this is different than what I did, I think. OK. Um, now, you might say, well, all right, Ms. McGlogan, that's the two answers that are between 0 um, and 2 pi. But what I want you guys to understand as well, though, let, let me just go through all the solutions so, I can see, so you can see how this is going to help us through both solutions. If I then said, to, get, to find all of the solutions, I would have to go and find add plus 2 pi to both of them. Now, I divide by 3. So if you guys remember, when we were doing like just a single variable, we found all the solutions between 0 and 2 pi. That allowed us to find all the solutions, um, all of the solutions. Well, when we, wanna, when we have a multiple angle or a half angle, it's going to be helpful to find all of the solutions when we want to find only the solutions between 0 and 2 pi. Because when I do this, I now have x equals um, 2 pi divided by 9 plus 2 pi over 3. Here I have x equals 4 pi over 9 plus 2 pi over 3. All right? And what I want to be able to show you is can we add certain, can we still add, I'm sorry, that's n, right? Can we add variables of 2 pi n to our solution and it still be between 0 and 2 pi? So let me show you an example. Let's pretend n is 1. So that means x equals 2 pi over 9 plus 2 pi over 3. n is 1. So therefore, to get common denominators, I multiply by 3 over 3. And I have 2 pi over 9 plus 6 pi over 9. Well, that equals 8 pi over 9. Is that still a solution? Is 8 pi over 9 still a solution? Yeah. So guess what? x equals um, 2 pi over 9, uh, 4 pi over 9, 8 pi over 9. What about if this equals 1? 4 pi over 9 plus 2 pi over 3. Multiply to get common denominators. 4 pi over 9 plus 6 over 9. So therefore, that becomes 10 over 9. Is that still within 2 pi? Yes. 10 pi? Yeah. What does it have to be below for it to be within 0 and 2 pi? It has to be below what? 
18 pi, right? So now, what about if n equals 2? So now, if it equals 2, that's 4 pi over 3. So then again, we multiply by 3. So it equals 2 pi over 9 plus 12 pi over 9. And that equals what? 14 pi over 9? And then we could do this one again. Let's change it. I'll just change it to 4 pi. So therefore, that becomes 12, which would be 16 pi over 9. And then let's go and do last one for 3. x equals 2 pi over 9 plus, let's say n was 3, so that would be 6 pi over 9. Multiply by 3 over 3. Well, 3 times 6 is going to be 18. 18 plus 2 is 20. So is that going to work? No. And if we do the same thing here, if I put a 3 there, that's going to be 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus, or sorry, 3 times, um, 3 times 2 is 6, times 3 is 18, plus 4 is 22. So if I said find all the solutions between 0 and 2 pi, it's not as simple as just saying, oh, it's 2 pi over 9 and 4 pi over 9. Because now, since I had to divide by my 3, I'm changing now all of those possible solutions. Okay. What do you mean, showing your work? Oh, I mean, as far as, 